Welcome back, fellow travelers, to an episode of No Man's Sky Origins gameplay, and I'm actually going to show you how to make a whole bunch of money starting out as a noob. This is my new character. I've only been playing him for about four hours. I already have an S-Class ship, and I have tons of stuff to crash the economy. People are saying the economy crash doesn't work, but it does. Um, 10k stack is about 10% on the economy crash, but uh, that's not going to help you unless you can get your hands on a whole bunch of this stuff, am I right? So let me show you how I did that starting from basically no money at all. All right, so step one when you're first starting out and it's really easy to do because you're always trying to find caves to survive, just uh, find yourself a cave and farm a little bit of cobalt. You don't need a ton of it, you just need some of it. All right, and those butterflies are actually pretty awesome. That is amazing. I love the new update here with No Man's Sky Origins. It's just getting me sucked back into No Man's Sky is what it's doing. All right, so you are gonna need to get your hands on either salt or chlorine. And I'm gonna show you one of the terminals I've already sold chlorine to, and this was a while back now. It's been over 24 hours and the prices still haven't recovered. It's still at minus 40. Um, what I'm doing now, I guess, since they've made it to where the prices won't recover, we're just setting up areas where we can just buy a whole bunch of uh, chlorine and ionized cobalt and cobalt for like super cheap once you cross the market, like permanently. So that's kind of cheating, I think almost. All right, so here is another terminal where I actually sold several uh, million dollars worth of ionized cobalt all at once, and still, after 24 hours, the price is still the same, minus 80.1%. So just setting up a really good place, I guess, to buy this set really super cheap, and then I'll just sell it somewhere else. Thank you, Hello Games. All right, so another thing that you really need to keep your eye out for is stuff like this, aronium, uh, mango gold, lemium, things like that. You can actually refine that down, and since it's at a negative price in the demand, this is where you're going to be making your starting money as well. So you can just snag that up if you can actually afford it. That is quite a bit of aronium, and I'm going to refine that down and turn it into its base element. Then we're going to turn around and sell all that base element for a huge profit as well. And aronium is going to turn into silver. One stack is going to turn into a lot of silver. Look at that. 1,250, and it's saying it's worth 232,000. All right. And it's saying a stack of aronium is worth 125,000. And you got to keep in mind, we didn't pay full price for that. We actually got 11% off of that price, so it's going to make even more profit. And the stuff refines down very quickly, so you're not going to be uh, wasting your time standing around. I generally like to do this when I'm waiting for these ship guys to spawn, so I can either buy soul chlorine or ionized cobalt and cobalt at a good price. And look at that, we got 8,500 silver, and I'm definitely going to be able to turn that for a profit. Now the little ship dudes are starting to show up. Let me see if I can find some salt or chlorine, because you really need that in the beginning. Now the very minimum you need to start this method is either two salt or one chlorine, and the rest is gonna be oxygen. Now you can also do this with cobalt and ionized cobalt. All you need is uh, two cobalt or one ionized cobalt to start. And we don't wanna buy a ship, what am I doing? All right, so we are looking for salt, and see there's some mango gold at a really good price. That will also turn us a profit. But yeah, definitely don't get this dirty bronze here. It is at 11.7% above galactic average. Uh, you're not going to make all the profit you could, I would say. You won't lose money, but you won't make as much money. And unfortunately, I do not see any salt, chlorine, or cobalt on there, so we'll just check the next guy. Now you can just farm up the cobalt, which is super easy to do. Um, oxygen is relatively easy to find too, but I always buy as much as I can. Um, because you will be using a lot of oxygen during this method and it looks like uh, we can find some salt more than we need to even start. So now let's get on to stage two where we're actually going to make a ton of money and we're going to completely and totally crash these markets uh, the way we used to and make tons of money from it. So you see how the silver is minus 2.2% and I paid only just a little bit over a million. That was over 500,000 profit just waiting for the ship guys to show up. We'll just go ahead and sell that here. All right, so the trick is to power through until you get to the space anomaly. That takes a little over an hour of gameplay. Um, and then definitely buy the medium refiner and buy the large refiner. Um, at the very least, the medium refiner. All right, you can save your berry technology if you don't want the large one. I'm just greedy and I like to do a bunch at once. All right. So you come over here and like I said, you need a minimum of two. 
to create a piece of ionized cobalt. And you're going to be mixing uh, cobalt with oxygen, which is going to end up giving you more ionized cobalt than you would if you just refined cobalt by itself. Uh, same exact thing works with the uh, salt as well to uh, chlorine. And it does refine relatively quickly, which is sweet. All right, so I'm going to throw my uh, salt in here. And it's going to do the exact same thing, all right? as the uh, ionized cobalt. It's gonna give you five pieces for four pieces of these, two of each. It is a great way to multiply your money because oxygen is so cheap. All right, now I'm gonna show you what happens when you throw ionized cobalt in there. Now you are gonna pay one ionized cobalt and two oxygen to make six ionized cobalt. And if you can imagine, that is a whole bunch of space bone profits going on right there. Start that up. Same exact thing works with the chlorine, as long as I have enough oxygen, which I do. Um, this one is going to be a 1 to 6 and a 2 to 6, so you will need a little bit of oxygen, but oxygen is cheap. Um, you can find it by the boat tons on every single space station, and every single little ship guy will sell it too. So stock up and buy tons of oxygen, seriously. And it really is as easy as that. I literally uh, got my stuff set up. Uh, and I spent about an hour and a half loading refineries over and over and over. And I turned it into several, several million space bucks. Uh, I had enough to buy an S-Class ship. I have 33 million left over. And I have all the supplies I need to continue the flipping whenever I want to do it. And uh, you have to keep in mind, if you want to crash it, the, the best you can do is crash it down to uh, about an 80% or so. 80 point something percent crash it down that far and from what I'm seeing those prices are staying the same now they're not changing like they used to slowly recover now they're staying the same now the good news for you is you're gonna be able to rename all those space stations uh, to something that you know like ionized cobalt or chlorine or something and you can go back and easily buy off the ship guys and the terminal as much of the chlorine and ionized cobalt as you want to continue your flipping enterprise to cap out at like 4.3 billion and it won't take you that long and it all boils down to just getting as much oxygen as you can. Definitely don't forget to kickstart your money making. Uh, buy those little patches of uh, lemium, mango gold, things like that, because you can refine it down as long as it's gonna be purchased at a negative price, then you're gonna guarantee you're gonna sell it for even more profit. But yep, crashing the economy still works. It just takes more items to actually crash the economy. And from my testing, it is about 9,999 which is basically 10,000 for 10%. Uh, once you crash it all the way, it's there for good, it seems like, and you're gonna have an endless supply of a way to make money at that point. All right, completely loaded back up with all the stuff I used to crash the economies, plus I have a little bit more since I showed you how to do it. So I have five different systems on my portal list, but uh, only two or three of them actually sell chlorine and ionized cobalt, and I've already crashed the prices, so I do need to find a new system to uh, do that again to make a bunch of money. Yeah, we like Gek, they're nice and greedy. Maybe they'll have something for us. All right, so right now I'm in scouting mode and the main purpose of this is to find a new source where I can sell ionized cobalt or chlorine. Now I could just go and sell it on a random terminal somewhere at max price. The thing is, is I wouldn't be able to buy it back, so that's why I'm searching. All right, let's check and see what this has for sale. Obviously, it's always gonna have oxygen for sale as well as cobalt, but I always buy the oxygen right up. And I do not see at this terminal ionized cobalt or chlorine, so let's hit the back one up and check. And there is another Traveler. That is the second one I've seen in uh, six systems now. And there we go, this terminal actually has aronium. Uh, I can turn around and refine all that down and turn it into silver and make another, what, 500,000 really super fast? Uh, if I was so feeling like it, and look, they do have ionized cobalt here, so that means I can sell it. And they have chlorine, man. I don't even care if it's 0.1% under. All right, so now I have the ability to sell all of my ionized cobalt, all of my chlorine. I just crashed the market, all right, and I crashed it because I had so much of it. And now that's at minus 79.9, which is just almost as far as you can crash it down. You can't go much better than that. Now I can buy it back for the super duper good guy price. We do the same for the chlorine, which got all the way down to minus 80. That's glorious. And there you go. I was at 33 million. Now I'm at 110 million on my very first scouting job and I can go and look for another system that uh, 
is going to sell me some ionized cobalt and chlorine and do it again. So yeah, system crashing works just fine. And now it has the added benefit of, uh, yeah, they stay that price. So you can just come back to this system. And since it sells on the terminal, those little ship guys have a very high probability of selling it too. So I can come back and buy more. Matter of fact, I'm going to do that right now. If I go up the right door, that is. No, come back, bros. Come back. You have loot for me. Were you lazy? Yeah, you got here last. Maybe you have stuff. I'm off these ship guys every single time, you're gonna be buying the oxygen. And I'm not kidding, every time. Every single ship guy. And unfortunately, he doesn't have any ionized cobalt or chlorine on him, so we'll just check the next guy. What I like to do is I like to expand my inventory size by buying uh, as much of the ionized cobalt and chlorine as I possibly can at the good guy price. All right, and since it's on the terminal, these guys like to sell it a lot and they will always have oxygen, so always buy your oxygen. All right, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up right there. That's how I was able, Oh, look at you. Are you gonna be an S-Class? I'm gonna be ship hunting soon since I'm gonna be making hundreds of millions of space bones uh, pretty much with every trip here. And every single time I go to the next system, I'm gonna have more chlorine and ionized cobalt. And I'm gonna definitely make a killer. Fortunately, he doesn't have very much oxygen. He does have aronium at a cheap price. So you can just sit here and fill your entire backpack up um, with items that will turn into silver and just go around and do a massive silver sell. You can do the same thing and find a terminal that sells silver. And that guy sells salt too, so that's even awesome. All right, I think I'll wrap it up there. That is how you crash the economy now. It has the side benefit of always having the good guy price when you come back. Uh, you won't be able to sell your stuff here again, unfortunately, but hey, you can come here and fill up your bag all you want to now, and that is awesome. So I hope you enjoyed my No Man's Sky Origins video on how to make money quick when you're a little noob starting out. Uh, this save right here just has barely over four hours played. And as you can see, I'm relatively rich. And I could money cap today if I felt like doing it, but I just want to go out and enjoy the game and have fun. So I will catch you in the next No Man's Sky video. Thanks for watching. Peace.